learned a lot since my freshman year, um, especially since my high school years. Um, just every year I feel like I've gotten be a little better and better and I think there's so much room for growth. And I've learned just little things like shots, being smart with the ball, blocking schemes. I've just learned pretty much all around volleyball and it's really helped me. It being my last year and being a senior, especially a fifth year senior, I think my role will be making sure that um, younger girls know like what uh, we do and how our program works and traditions that we follow and how our system works. So making sure that I'm a good example for that so they can see what we do by example. It's fun to go in to actually play in a gym like this and it's competition every single day and when we're scrimmaging, you know, it's, it's actually fun because you're trying, it almost feels like a mini championship game yourself, you know, because you're playing against the best girls in the country and day in and day out so it can only make you better and I think, you know, having strong, basically having someone strong in every position, it's fun to see that and it's fun to play against. Um, I think a big thing was last year was that um, there were beginning to be a lot of girls that had, that had gone through when we were in the Final Four and when we were in the Elite Eight. And I think when you have more people that have experienced that, then they're able to relay the message to the younger girls like, you don't want this feeling or you don't want this to happen or let's try something different. And especially with me being here for going on five years, it's like I've seen what works, what works and what, ha what hasn't. When you actually break it down, it's really simple. When you play how you play in regular Big 12 matches or whatever it is, that's how you should play during the NCAA tournament, nothing's different. And I think when we took that going into the tournament, it helped us a lot. Set left. Last year, there was almost half the team were freshmen, new girls, and I think the important thing was make sure you communicate with one another, get to know one another, and know what we like and what we don't like and I think that helped us and I think automatically with us just being so talented it comes easier sometimes but um, that doesn't really mean anything for us to be able to flow and I think throughout the season we were able to do that and with this year we have older girls and everyone's had a year under their belt and, belt, and there's only a couple a few new additions so it's really helping us this season. My coaches have really focused on the past few years of being an all-around player and, you know, being good, great passers and so we're working on passing, we're spending time working on blocking and not only hitting, so I think just it's important to become an all-around player. You know? I think that they work well together because they all bring a little bit, something different to the table. Salima is normally the person, you know, you can go and talk to the personable one that you can talk to about anything. And I think that she's good with relaying messages between the staff and the players in a comfortable and friendly way. And I think Eric is great with just honestly running the practices and drills and being getting on us about little details and basically helping us and helping us grow in the actual game of volleyball. And I think Jared is the decision maker and he's good with, you know, figuring out what lineups work, what doesn't work, looking at our stats, seeing, talking to us basically how we can get to the next level. So I think they all work well together. looking forward to this season and then after this season is over then you know going on continuing to play volleyball for as long as I can.